Good morning and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It is Saturday morning. I have been up for ages. However, Kathleen, my daughter, who sleeps above the kitchen, um, her room is above the kitchen, she is not working till late and she was on a late last night. So I've tried to be quiet. I haven't put washing machines on or anything. So I thought I had nothing better to do and that I will, I will, you know, do what I've been telling others to do. I got my little red book of resilience and started filling it in. So that was fine, you know, putting in my doctors, where's the stopcock, where's your electric meter, you know, what's your doctor's surgeries number, etc. And then insurance policies. Now, I work with insurance. I am insured to the hilt. I have got maximum coverage on everything because I have seen what happens if you don't. And I went looking to go and get my policy number and everything. And the last email I could find was in November, saying that it was due for renewal in November 2023. And I was like, right, okay. So I went onto the website and there's no, when it says I can download documents, it's last year's documents I downloaded. I was like, where's my insurance? Then I went and looked at my bank. Now they're still taking out the payments. But I don't have a policy document. I don't have a certificate of insurance. I was like, okay, not, not understanding this at all. So I checked and I mean, it's the exact amount that they said would be coming out. They said it would automatically renew, but there's no policy documents. Now, I know myself that probably at least 90% of insurance claims are not the scary ones. However, I like to be prepared. I, I get myself stressed about such things. And I want to know my policy number. I want to know that if this place has an incident or if I get stuck somewhere and something happens, that I can phone and I have got that policy document number available. On my phone, in my bookie, whatever. And there's no, there's no certificate of insurance. So, yeah, that was a bit of a stressor. So the office opens at 10 o'clock on a, oh, no, 9 o'clock on a Saturday morning. So I have my trusty coffee in my trusty Pom Preps mug. I am about to go and plank myself at my desk again, ready for this office to open at 9 o'clock this morning. So I can phone them and go, excuse me, what's going on? So yeah, this should be interesting to see. So I just thought I would come on and say, do you know, look at me being organised, happy bunny, thinking I will do something sensible with my time on a Saturday morning that's quiet, which I did, and then gave myself conniptions because I can't find insurance policy documents. But my first thought was maybe I had insured with someone else, but there's no other emails from another insurance company and the amounts that they're taking out are the amounts that my insurance company says they're taking out. So now I want a certificate of insurance. Now I want policy documents. Now I want confirmation of coverage. You know, I'm getting really quite pedantic now. Now I want the whole shebang. So in the next 10 minutes, I will be on the phone to the insurance company. <laughs> Wish me luck. Catch you later.